by Metallica. There are 24 kids up here on stage who met two weeks ago for two weeks. That's the first song they learned, and it's only gotten better, I think. They sound great out there, don't they? Thank you very much to Jeff St. Amon and his crew at LA Music Productions because they're a big help there. They watch us walk across the field with three drum sets and seven guitar amps and they, he doesn't back away anymore. That's cool. He knows what, what to do. So thank you very much. We are plugging in an acoustic guitar. I got to tell you, they shocked me at our show last Friday. I thought we were playing a song by The Who and then they broke into some other song. I'll introduce them in a minute, but what what are we what are we? <laughs> All right, so Corgi, we're going to my plan for once. We're gonna play a song by the Who for you. <laughs> These guys keep me on my toes. They keep me young, and they give me gray hair all at the same time. Then are you ready? <laughs> Dylan's having fun. Let me introduce them real quick before, while Dylan gets himself all figured out. I'm going to go straight across the front of the stage. Over there we have Maddie on vocals. We have Callie on vocals as well. She'll be switching over to keys in a little bit. Right here we have Gabe on vocals. Alina on lead vocals. And Ro over here on vocals. That's Dylan back there. Uh, we'll get to you in a minute. Uh, we have a string section over here made up of Kaylee. Carter back here, at least to stay out of the spotlight. And Anna Beth. We have two flute players, Tanya and Sophia. And we have a saxophone player named Katiana. Back there in the keyboard section, we have Jameson and Mariah. She'll also switch on to vocals and percussion later. We have three drummers back there. Adam. You will hear him uh, on vocals in a little bit. Connor. And Dexter tucked away back there. All right, here we have one bass player this year, Zach. And we have seven guitarists. One of them could not be here today, but we have Hunter. Uh, Anthony. Dang it. I was doing so well. <laughs> Dominic on guitar. Lucas. We've already met Dylan through his feedback. And Eddie over there. All right, I think we're all good. Here's a song by The Who for you.
Thank you. Complete with windmills and everything over there with Eddie, right? Thank you. Okay, so every year we have an auditioned group called Academy of Rock. This year, for a lot of different reasons, they didn't really get the full effect of what that means. They have to audition in front of a panel of four people, and they learn not to play when I'm talking. <laughs> That's a joke, obviously, as if, right? Anyways, uh, <laughs> they get to meet through the summer, usually work on advanced music, and they become section leaders up here for Camp of Rock, and uh, it has worked really well. There's been a lot of competition for that in the last few years, and uh, this year we had to do it by video, and uh, it was a little bit harder to pull off for a lot of personal reasons and whatever. But uh, they didn't get to meet through the summer and do their thing. They were still section leaders, and they did an amazing job, and they totally blindsided me at our show last Friday with a song, because I was going into Pinball Wizard. They had other plans, and apparently they had been meeting secretly to pull this off. I, I've talked to many people about this, trying to figure out how it happened. And I don't want to say anything else because I really have no idea how they did it. I'm just going to hand the mic off and you guys are on your own. This is Academy of Rock. Thanks, Brian.
Let me introduce these guys. That was Dylan on vocals there. He's our Academy of Rock guitarist. <laughs> Alina on vocals, Academy of Rock lead vocalist. Anna Beth is our uh, section leader for violins over there. <laughs> Sophia is our section leader for flutes. <laughs> Jameson was on keys back there. <laughs> Zach, an honorary member of Academy of Rock on bass. And on drums, we have Connor back there, our section leader. <laughs> All right. I don't even know what's our next line. All right, we're going to plug back in. We've got a song for you from a band called Everclear. You might remember them from uh, about mid-90s on CYY. You might not know the name of the song. It's called Santa Monica, but you'll know it when you hear it. Even fewer of them knew this next tune by Janis Joplin. Yeah. So uh, Janis Joplin's not easy to imitate, for sure. But we'll pull her off, and it's not one of her. Well, it's one of your better-known tunes if you if you know Janis Joplin. But they didn't know this one when we started it, and they learned it in about a day and a half. So. 
They're shifting around a little bit. We got some people moving on to percussion. We got three vocalists on this one. We have Alina, of course, and we'll have Maddie. Who, if you know Maddie, you know she's come way out of her shell this year. Loving Maddie. Yes. And where's my other vocalist? Ro. Yeah. No oh, high back there, Ro. Okay. Connor, we good back there? Oh, I gotta mention, listen for Hunter too here on guitar. He picked this part right up. Vocalists on that one. Yeah. Nice job. All right, so we have somebody coming on up here to take the microphone. You might remember him from a couple of years ago doing a song by Rage Against the Machine. This is an angry young man named Adam. Very angry. 
<laughs> well, the song has a little introduction to it. Ain't supposed to make you sad, though you might feel this way. The song's about desperation, and every now and then we do get desperate. The song's about L O P E. <laughs> you're gonna abuse, you're gonna lose it. If you lose, you ain't. You're gonna abuse it. If you abuse, you ain't gonna go and be able to choose it, cause you ain't gonna have it further down the line. Things ain't gonna be so fine. Me sitting there on your little machine, trying to look and keep it clean. That's why you're playing bingo all night all alone. That's why you're sitting next to the telephone, and you know she ain't gonna call you. <laughs> So you watching John Carlson's Segway Ranches tomorrow show, but that don't got to go, so you turn it off, yeah, you turn on the radio, but t radio don't seem to get the clicks and say, hey man, I can't let you split, so you open up a little book and say, there's something you overlook, and you say, baby, you know there's something on my mind, there's something on my mind, I know you're home, I know you ain't all alone, oh, no. so start walking over to a door, and you get up to a door and start pounding the door, so open the door, this is Wilma Griffin and the Green Teeth, let me in! Well, she opens up doors, kind of walk up to her and say, Baby, look, way up at her green mascara. You say, Oh, my darling. You know, me and her, I was at the party as friends. Don't believe what they say. That's just a wisecrack of line. And you said, Baby! What? Take your big curls and squeeze them down. We're talking about, Hey, what's the name of the chick with the long hair? Connor! <laughs> hey, Rapunzel. We're beauty, beauty. Beauty, beauty. Put me down your hair. Let me clown you out of your love. Because Oopa Koopa saying to you, Love comes once and when it comes, it, you better grab it fast because sometimes the love you grab ain't gonna last. And do you want? I think I must have. No, baby, I think I must have. No, baby, I think I must have. I must have got love. Never thought about tomorrow. Like a long time to come How could I be so blind, baby Not to see you were the one I'll let you walk on for me, honey I'll let you slip on by I refuse to love you and for me
you very much. That's of course Jay Giles band, right? And with the complete with the uh, introduction, how could we do it without that? Let's hear it for Adam. Thank you very much. We've got a little something for everybody. If you like Janis Joplin, if you like Jay Giles, if you like Metallica, we got some Aerosmith coming up later. But right now, I think we have something a little heavier, right? We're gonna shift gears and do some Dio. Any Dio fans out there? Yeah. It's pretty hard rock, great vocalist. And uh, we have some soloists up here on guitar as well. You're gonna have to listen for Lucas. He's tucked in back there, but he's gonna take charge right in the middle of the song. Yeah. This song's not easy. It took us a few days to pull this one off, and we almost had to put it to the side. You know, we've got some people moving over from different instruments onto vocals, which is not easy to do, so. <laughs> Dexter, where's your jump shot there? Oh, what's becoming of 
<laughs> awesome job. Can I hear it one more time for those guys? That is not an easy tune. Yeah, we got to hear it from Lucas over here too, man. On shredding guitar. All right. We have a song now after Dio by Fish. <laughs> Any fish heads out there? Yeah, represent. And I'm singing this one, so. That's not how it starts. <laughs> Pretty sure. That's how it starts in the studio over here, but. We are a Positive Tracks Dempsey Challenge team as well. And so thank you very much for that. We've been raising funds this summer to benefit the Dempsey Centers. Uh, our team is called Down With Disease. So we play this song every year. We've had a lot of turnover this year. Raise your hand if you're a first time Camp of Rocker. Dylan. <laughs> Dylan's always a first time Camp of Rocker. Raise your hand if you're a second year Camp of Rocker. So between first and second years, that takes up about half the band. And so they've caught on pretty quickly. There's a lot of wide eyes in the studio the first day. And we have Zach Morin over here, who claims to be playing bass for less than a year. You'll have to judge that for yourself. He's way beyond his ears on that instrument. Let's hear it for Zach. All right, and Zach, I believe you will kick this one off, right? Go for it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
they let me still sing that one. You can catch us again at Grady's in a few weeks. And then again at the Dempsey Challenge right here on the same stage. I, I remembered all the words they said, so thank you so much. Brian, I'm proud. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> all right, let's move on to our next song. Are we back? We bring you back there, Callie. We're gonna go put you on keyboards for this second to last one for you. This is a beast of a song. We almost have to put away. Oh, ouch. No pressure.